Hello laser friends, today I want to show you these new lasers from OPT. These are the PR series, the PR4, the PR7 and the PR10. I want to compare them, see how is the beam size, how can they make animations. And I think these lasers, about 80-90% will use it in festivals and clubs for beam shows. So I'm going to compare the beams. I'm going to use one ILDA card so that all the lasers do the same cue at the same level of power and then uh, we can compare the PR4 to the PR7 and the PR10. Well, let's have a look. This is the 4. It's really, really so compact. And if you can imagine, this is a 10. 10 watt power, so compact also and light. It's amazing. So on the back sides, what do we have? We have the power con in and the power con out, the DMX in out, the menu with the SD card for the DMX queues, power switch, fuse, um, ILDA port in out, safety key, interlock for your emergency stop. So this laser has everything that you need with safety stickers, front LED here, a front slider without screws, they always get lost, they don't need screws, you can just slide it, yeah it's a beautiful product, ventilator, so this is the 4, this is the 7, and it's just a little bit bigger, see, just a little bit, beautiful made housings, with almost no screws in the front and the top. Very nice. I like the metal hanging. It doesn't damage from uh, the G-hook or the clamps. This I don't like so much because it's yeah, it's like a butterfly clip like this. I like the normal one better. But the housings, yeah, just look at it. So small. Beautiful lasers. And this is the 10. I think we find almost the same things as the 4 and the 7 on the back. Only the 10 also has laser power control. Well, that's uh, very nice if you have one big system with a small one. You can turn down the laser power with these knobs. So they all look the same. It's very nice. Interlock, safety key, uh, ILDA in, out, power switch. Powercon, DMX, beautiful systems. Let's test out the beams. Some beautiful waves that you want to do in festivals in the red and green and blue. And then compare the power between the 4, the 7 and the 10 watts. And also want to look at the beam shape. Here we go. So this is the ILDA test pattern from the program Quick Show. I'm using one FB3 and I'm connected all lasers in one line. The output size is about 30% the angle and the laser power is full power, all lasers. And you can see the PR4 has less power. The middle one, the PR7, I see a little bit green-ish compared to the other whites and the 10 watts that's the best of white. What's quite amazing, they use the same Gaufos, the scanners, so that they are all 40k scanners and the size and speed is exactly the same as you can see. So when you have different uh, laser power projectors, you can make the same cues and the same beams because they have the same output size and the same scanners. So I can put the 10 watt back in power now if I would like with the knobs. So it's not too bright, but for the test I want to have the maximum power, 10 watts, on the laser module. And what's also good to see is the scanners, they have the 40k OPT scanner, the angles are quite good here. It's sharp, center points put in the middle, and the red, the green and the blue, the size at this distance is the same. I'm going to measure it uh, on a longer distance also, but this looks really good 
for this low cost laser projector. Let's turn up the size. This is 50%. And now 100, they don't like this. Are you sure? Yes. Woo! Turn it back quick. This is 50%, this is 25%, and turn it up. Okay. Now let's have a look at the scan speed. Turn it down. Turn it up, 30k. This is inside the PR7. Here you can see the laser power is 7 watt. This is the laser module. It's a nice housing, dust proof. The laser comes out here, hitting this one mirror, and then to the Galvos. And these Galvos are from OPT40B Galvos, so it's a 40k scanner. Beautiful, nice Galvos. This is the Galvo driver to correct everything. This is the main board for the DMX with the SD card. This is the laser module. Uh, this is the laser driver for the laser head. And here is a safety board with the main switch and the safety key on it. Here is a power splitter, 12 volt splitter to the fans. Here are some extra fans on the laser drivers. And the power supply is not in here, it's below. So this is a split level design. This is the base plate. And below here is the power supply and the cooling fan for below cooling the laser module. So it's very compact. And well, maybe if you look here and here, it can become one centimeter smaller, but not much smaller than that. It's very nice built. Seven watt from this small housing. And this is my hand. Eh? See, the projector is smaller than my hand. Beautiful laser. Nice. So I'm going to make some animations with quick show all in the same ILDA line at full power at 30k. Here we go. You can see the 10 watt is way brighter. With the beam show you will see it better. And the middle one, the PR7, it's a little bit greenish, not so white. But for the animation I think the PR4 and the PR10 look perfect. So that's amazing, eh? 10 watt, good for beam show and also animation, because the beam is good. All the same size. Uh, where is that beautiful view from Quick Show? The Zeus God, beautiful. It's my favorite one. Good. So let's have some beams. Let's make a box. Quick shape. Draw a box in the color white. Uh, size a little bit smaller. Here we go. And then a little bit move it up. And then I want to show you the colors. So I go to quick FX, full color. Uh, it's very amazing that uh, the laser sizes are the same. Sometimes you see the red is bigger than the green or the blue, but it's all exactly the same, even with the 10 watts. So that's a good, good job, OPT. Beautiful. So let's dim the laser power. Also important if you want to do some dimming. Here we go. Okay, the first two, the blue are missing now. I think the 10 watts is uh, the best one. Okay, turn it up. The 10 watt also starts the first.
and back at full power nice so this is the red color it's horizontal and vertical it's almost the same good correction this is the green color this is very bright in the camera it's not but with my eyes this is extremely bright the 10 watt uh, the blue color i will tell you the laser powers so we start with the red the pr4 has 1300 milliwatt of red the pr7 has 1950 milliwatt of red and the pr10 has 2600 milliwatt so 2.6 watt it's a big power then we go to the green color big power the green for your eyes the 520 nanometer it's almost close to the maximum wavelength the human eye can see very clearly the pr4 has 1000 milliwatt of green the pr7 has 2400 milliwatt of green so double the power you can see it's brighter but it's double the power you cannot see it good you must have a longer distance the PR10 has 3750 milliwatt, almost 4 watt, that's a big power. Now we're going to the last color, the blue color, here we go. The PR4 has 2 watt of blue, the PR7 has 2.6 watt of blue, and the PR10 has 4.5 watt of blue. So the, I think the 10 watt, the balance is the best that you can see in the white also. So it makes beautiful colors. And very difficult is orange. Well, this is beautiful orange. Yellow. And I didn't use any correction, it's just quick show. And everything is at 100%, 100%. So let's test the beam size at that size, at full power, single beam. Yeah. So, I think uh, the lasers is, are ready for some beam shows. Let's test them out with a little bit of fork and then see what is the difference in the beam power. The left one is the 10 watts, the middle one the 7 watts, and on the right is the 4 watts. Okay, same test. This is only the red laser on at full power. The left one you can see, the middle one you can see a little bit, and the right one almost not visible. And now with the green laser power, the left is the 10 watts, the middle one the 7 watts, and the right one the 4 watts. And now with the blue lasers at full power. This is from the back view. And this is from where the lasers are beaming at. So this is the 4 watts, the 7 watts and the 10 watts. <laughs> So do we have a winner? I think the 10 watt is the best because the price and power is very good and just look at this animation. The 10 watt definitely is winning because it's beautiful in the colors and the beam shape. 
7 watts. Also nice. It's a little bit greenish, so it's less red. And the 4 watt, you can see the bottom, it's not even turning on now. So it needs more red power. So, yes, the 10 watt is the winner for me.